a tail whip. Just do a tail whip. Hell, just do a tail whip, Jeremiah. Get used to that bike, son. Don't do no hands. Don't do no hill clicker. Just get that dirt jumper out there, okay? Do a little tail whip action. We'll get you some more seat time, Bo. I love you. Come on. Get off my hand. I'm at Lowe's. Recording now. My damn seat's crooked. Your seats are always My crooked, seat's crooked, son. Your handlebars are crooked. Your seats are crooked. Okay. There we um. go. Wolf Tech Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tech Videos episode. And guys, what I have got here is Project DJ. All right. It is the Mongoose Derm 26 inch dirt jumper. We are fixing to take it to the, uh, we got a little Cedar Glades action here in Hot Springs. We got the little pump track back there. We're fixing to take it on there, mess around with it a little bit. And then we're going to go over to the jumps. We're going to hit some of that stuff and see what kind of tricks I can pull out today. Might even see a backflip. I don't know. There's no telling. Calm down. One thing, I want to give a shout out to old my home girl, old Trinity. Hook me up with some Oakley Trail sunglasses, all right? We're going to see how these things do today as well. So, guys, without further ado, let's send it. What's the shirt say? Ride it? <laughs> ride it like you bought it at Walmart. Let's, I didn't know you were asking me. I thought you were letting them know. Let's ride this damn thing like we bought it at Walmart, all right? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, a little bit of real-time review action. I'm gonna go back and forth on the um, in the parking lot real quick. Make sure everything stays together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit this little pump track. Okay, pump it for a while. All right, guys. This has been an awesome build. Appreciate you guys watching the dirt jumper build. Now everybody was talking about getting some tan wall tires for this thing, and we probably will, but uh, we just wanted to use them, some stuff that we had in the shop. Uh, and I guess as far as the tires and the wheel set's concerned and the fork, everything else was sent to us pretty much by Berserker Nick. So Berserker Nick, thank you so much. But all right, I think that's enough warming up. Let's uh, see how this 12, is a 12 rear cog and a 28 tooth chain ring feel on this little hill. Oh, buddy. Oh, that's going to be hard to, uh, that's going to be hard to pump for sure. Um, that's definitely going to be very hard to do any kind of climbing when we go to the, uh, when we go to the, um, little jump portion. Yeah, I'm going to have to be walking it up the hill for sure. That's what I told you I figured you'd have to do. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of travel up here on this fork for sure but the 120 the 120 is definitely probably gonna be a little bit too much and we talked about that getting a hundred sooner or later so we'll probably do that but it's not too bad right now it is pretty uh, front the front is up a bunch we got a lot of rise up there on this bar but stuff that we can fix the pedaling motion is great it's just cold out here so it feels like i'm gassed already pedaling motion is really good the uh the grips feel nice the width of the bars does feel a little long it is a 780 uh, so i'm curious if we might have to cut those down sooner or later depending on what kind of tricks and stuff i'm gonna try maybe not today but sooner or later uh Everything feels put together and smooth. Nothing feels chintzy whatsoever. And we did put 100 uh, PSI inside that fork right now. Zipping the front up a little bit. And that brake is kind of non-existent. 
the Maroka rear. Look at that. We're gonna have to uh, definitely bleed that guy. <sighs> All right. Well, that was a little warm up jaunt. Let's ride over here to the Wolfman. Oh, and let's see what we can do. I was gonna say what kind of damage we can do, but that's, that's a bad omen. You don't wanna be saying that. So I hit these little guys a couple times. See if I can pedal this thing up. You're not gonna be able to get some speed first. Walk it out. Ah. Ah. Oh. All right. Oh, we're almost there. Okay. That's about as far as we can get. I would try to really pump my little iron legs, but I don't want to snap that chain. All right, first run on the Durham, the dirt jumper, baby. We're gonna hit these little tabletops and then we'll get after it. Let's unlock this fork. You know, surprisingly, these tractor tires don't feel real thuddy on the dirt. They specialize downhills, which is surprising. Not bad. It was pretty smooth. I'm gonna have to walk this sucker up every time. Man, very smooth. It's amazing how light the bike feels. I can lift it up while I'm in the air still. These pedals are awesome, Berserker. The Berg Tex, those suckers are stuck to my feet, literally. Wow. The way that I can, uh, the uh, way that I can get some air on this thing and lift it up, mm -hmm. it is so light. I mean, this bike is 28 pounds, but since it is a 26 inch, I mean, I can just kind of whip this around. And Berserker called it, right, with the seat. Everybody, I was like, hey, I don't know about landing on that thing because it's probably really gonna hurt, but I can pinch my knees mm -hmm. and it's like nice and settled in there, you know? Yeah. Very cool. But. All right, I'll probably give it one more run in these little guys, and we'll start hitting the bigs. When you go to the bigs the first time, you just basically barely overroll them. Okay. Um, let me walk back up there. Yeah, walk back up there. You know, I saw a guy um, at that jump park in Faulkner, uh, Faulkner Bike Park, whatever, in Tyler, Texas, and he had a dirt jumper, and he was walking his bike the whole time, constantly. I was like, man, you got to pedal that thing. Shoot. I'm so happy I didn't say something to him. This is tough. All right, here we go. Last time on here, and we'll go over and we'll hit the bigs. A little sideways. All right, let's go do the big. Oh, a little bit of rattle. What? Okay. Well, this chain. We're getting some slack in this chain now. Okay, so that's something. Uh, I was actually uh, Captain's Cog, one of our patrons. He said, uh, I'm surprised you got that chain as tight as you could, but you're probably going to have to, um, you're probably going to have to resize it again after you ride it a couple times because it'll stretch. Yeah, you completely called that Captain's Cog. Look at that. I don't know. It's kind of scary since it's a single speed and all. Um, taking one out and then putting one back in. I don't know if there's enough room in there. So we might have to do is just wrap a, a chain stay protector in here, guys. But all right, let's get back up to the top. Okay, let's do big guys now. I'm gonna pump these brakes a little bit. That's what sucks about these Barocas. You gotta pump them. Okay, we got some brake pressure. Ugh, a little too far back. Barely cleared that last one. Just gotta get in the groove of this thing and we'll start being able to get some more air on these guys. Not bad. I gotta get a little bit more speed. Now I said that the tires weren't um, thudding on the, on the dirt too much, and they're not. They are picking up rocks, 
and I am not used to that thudding noise on the wood. That's a little weird for me. God, this bike is like sized out great for me. Here we go. A little better. Get more and more in control of it. Um, I feel like it's so well balanced throughout. I'm gonna try to get a little more air and I'm gonna push, I'm gonna pull back a little bit more than I am right now. Just kind of feeling things out. I was really wanting to make sure these bars stayed put and they are. And yes, they are centered. I'm gonna pull back a little bit now. See if I can do a little bar action, maybe a, uh, see if I can maybe do a little tabletop action. Get this bike laid over a bit. guys well uh, that was a real-time review on the Durham our dirt jumper alrighty now there are some things that I thought I wanted to change up but ended up kind of working all together I will say first and foremost this bike being a 26er just like everybody including Wolfman said it's gonna be one of your new favorite bikes because how playful it's gonna be absolutely 100% agree with that statement this is the first bike I've ever taken to a little jump park or this jump park and was comfortable every single run I mean I got more and more confident with it once I started to get to know the bike but as soon as I did I just felt great the entire time now the changes that we're gonna have to make to I guess make this thing officially a dirt jumper and again like the uh, RockShox Judy Silver TK fork up front that fork was never meant to stay on this bike so that's gonna be a change up I am looking forward to cutting the steer tube down for this head tube and I'm well, actually no, no, no you're not cutting that steer tube that, that forks on similar a I'm fork about... for that bike that's what I just said yeah no you said I'm looking forward to cutting the steer tube down don't be when, that one when we when we get that fork I'm looking forward to cutting that steer two down and slamming this down a little bit see initially i thought <clears throat> excuse me i thought that the 780s were a little bit too wide and i was thinking well you know they might just get in the way but really that is the perfect amount of bar and the perfect amount of rise like i feel great with it the van colt grips i love the amount of room that these things have they're thin grips so they fit my hands perfectly you would think that it would start eating to my hands a little bit and really they're they're really comfortable I, i'm really shocked with that these bird tech pedals this whole bike is just put together so well and uh berserker nick thank you so much for sending everything man you know your stuff and this right here is uh definitely a wolf tick videos build you know what i'm saying so i'm excited about some changes that we're gonna be making with it guys well um that was another wolf tick videos episode appreciate all of the love out there please hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of wolf tick nation if you guys want to see some parts list on this bike you can check out the affiliate links in the description below if you want to get your hands on something you can also feel free okay um it's uh be more than appreciated if you would uh, check out the bias cup of coffee link in the description below and if you want to you can become a patron yes we allow everybody to become a patron it's ten dollars well, a month well, it's uh, no we don't allow everybody if you're easily offended or offended at foul language or intense arguing it's do not become a patron yeah so uh guys until next time we will see you